Hey guys, it's me again, Jen, and yes, I know what you're thinking. I've been away for quite a while now, and I'm thrilled to be back. It's just that a lot of things have happened and are still happening in the past few months, and that's why I'm MIA for a little while. But look, it's also great news because I have a lot of new and exciting and fun and useful content that I just can't wait to share with you guys. But I just want to hold off on that, and for today, I just want to make a quick video about this topic that I feel is pressing because in the past few weeks I've been receiving a lot of messages about it and it involves money and I suppose the reason for this as well is that now that the lockdown is over and everyone feels that the world is back to being their oyster everyone is thinking what is the next big step and it makes sense because one of the most exciting things that you can actually do is move abroad right? So the question is, should you be paying for the processing of your working visa? And the answer is a resounding no. But hold on a second, don't close this video yet because I got five things that you need to know and always remember. At the end of this video, there's a golden nugget that you would definitely want to know. First, one of the main requirements of processing your working visa is a signed contract by you and your employer. And I've actually talked about this in one of my Q&A videos. I'm going to put the link up there, which you can also check after this video because I've answered a lot more questions in there about moving here to Ireland. So if you haven't signed any job contract or job offer, then there is no way at all that an agency will be able to process your working visa. So if they claim that they are processing a working visa for you, then that's definitely a red flag and they're selling you false hope. So number two, some companies are using recruitment agencies or headhunters to fill specific job roles. There could be a lot of reasons why they would be doing that. Like for example, they probably don't have a streamlined hiring process yet, or the company is mass hiring, or that the company has no experience yet in hiring foreign nationals. But you need to remember that the main role of these agencies and headhunters would be gathering the CVs and reviewing them and picking out the most suitable candidates for that specific role. If the recruitment is successful, the company will actually pay the agencies a specific amount could be like a percentage of the gross salary that actually means that the services of these agencies or headhunters are completely free for the job seekers and keep in mind that giving them your cv would actually open up more doors or windows for you because they might actually find a job for you that they probably didn't know of and also, FYI, here in Ireland, these agencies cannot charge candidates for them to get a license to operate. Number three, regardless of the job or the profession, it is the company that should cover all the expenses related to your working visa or your working permit. Either the company will undergo the whole process if they have the experience to do it, or they could also contract an immigration agency to do the work. Nothing should be coming out of your pocket and remember that your abilities and your skills will get you that job. Number four, you can apply directly to the company without any help of the agency or the headhunter. And that's exactly what I did back in 2018. If you want to know more about it, I'm going to link my first ever video where I talked about how I did it. And last but not the least, and I know you've been waiting for this, I heard from my friends back in Dublin that a lot of the big four auditing firms are recruiting auditors at the moment. In fact, after the lockdown has been lifted, there are more than 200 or 300 Filipino auditors that were recruited from the Philippines. And nurses are also being actively recruited. So if you want to go on a new adventure, then Ireland is the place to be. So that's it guys, I tried to keep it really really short and I hope that I answered your questions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and also if you have any other questions please pop them up on the comment section down below and who knows that might be the topic of my next video. I'll see you again next week, ciao!